Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and these are two patients to show positioning of the kneecap. One is normal, which is this first one, and the second one is abnormal. And in this normal patient, we see the kneecap here on the left, attached along the top to the quadriceps tendon, and the bottom to the patellar tendon. We see that it is in normal position. The articular surface in back here is articulating with the front of the femur here. We see the gray cartilage. We see the epicenter of the patella is right here, and it roughly corresponds to um, the top of this articular surface here with the knee mildly flexed. Also, we note the relationship between the height of the patella and the length of the patellar tendon. The patellar tendon should not be more than 1.5 times or maybe 1.3 times the height of the kneecap here, so we can measure that and see if this is 3.5 centimeters in height. There should be less than 1.5 times that, and this is a normal relationship, less than 1.5 times the patellar height. And so this is a normal position of the kneecap. If we put up an axial view where we're slicing through it in short axis like this, we see that there is a trough here. This is called the trochlea. This is the front of the femur. We see the kneecap is sitting right in normal position, right in the middle of that trough. So this is what we call a normal patellofemoral alignment. Here's the patella, femur, normal alignment. There's no slippage or subluxation off to the side. So this is the normal patient. Now we're going to go on to the other patient. Let me put this view back up here to start with. Again, note the middle of the patella right here. It's relationship to the femur. Now on this patient, we can see that the kneecap is 3.7 centimeters in height, and the patellar tendon is more than 1.5 times the height. So this is abnormally long, and the kneecap is high. So the epicenter is right here, and it should be down about here. So we have a high riding patellar. We call this patella alta, related to this elongated patellar tendon. And also, if we go to the other images, here we see that the kneecap should sit right in this V. Where's the kneecap? It's not a normal position. It's high riding over here, and it's shifted laterally over here. And one last thing, if we come down, we measure the distance between the apex of this trochlea and over to this area here where the patellar tendon attaches. This distance should be less than a certain amount, less than about 1.7 centimeters, or some say less than 2 centimeters. If it is too far, then that means that the patellar tendon inserts more lateral than it should over here, and that can be associated with this lateral patellar subluxation. It slips laterally. You can sometimes get tilt of the patella. This is a little borderline tilt right now, and they may, if they have really bad um, symptoms, they may even need to do a uh, patellar tendon shift procedure where they take off a piece of bone and where it attaches and scoot it over towards the middle to get the alignment more normal where the kneecap sits right in the middle of the trochlea rather than so far off laterally. And here's back to our normal patient where you can see the trochlea, the V, kneecap sitting happily right in the middle there. And if we measure from the V down to where the patellar tendon attaches, the distance here is a little bit smaller. Thank you very much.